I think what we are going to find today is that the President and what we passed eight months ago out of uh, this committee uh, is that is very close. We are not that far off. We are in agreement on most of the major issues. But, you know, we need to take an overall look. While the Internet has been a boom for the nation and the global economy, it has been a mixed blessing for the Postal Service. Package volume is growing rapidly thanks to e-commerce, but that impressive growth has not been nearly enough to offset the decline in letters. Americans are rapidly changing how they communicate with one another and how they pay their bills. The Postal Service has struggled to adapt. However, this does not mean we are living in a non-postal world. The Postal Service is a vital link uh, in our economy, connecting even the remote, most remote parts of this company. That is why postal reform is so important. We can't just move bits and bytes around. We need to be moving atoms around. It is absolutely critical. Um, as the President stated in their budget, there could be no doubt the Postal Service is in need of reform. Today, the trouble agency stands in default to the Treasury for $16.7 billion, and without substantial changes from current law, the agency now admits it will not be able uh, to address its more than $100 billion in unfunded obligations over the uh, long term. Uh, last July, this committee passed the uh, Postal Reform Act of 2013, and unfortunately, we didn't get the bipartisan support that we were looking for. I thought we'd worked pretty, uh, pretty strongly with the uh, minority here, but we, we weren't able to get a bipartisan bill. Hopefully, finding out the pieces that we agree on from the President's budget today uh, will allow us to get the bipartisan support we need. I do, however, want to take a second to correct uh, the ranking member. I guess he has not reviewed the uh, transcript from our subcommittee hearing of a couple of weeks ago. The Postal Service is, in fact, not the only government agency required to accrue for future health benefits. The Department of Defense uh, is also required to uh, accrue for uh, TRICARE for Life, so that management within the Pentagon would be aware of the cost of current day decisions on long-term financial uh, interest. Uh, getting back to the other issues in postal reform, where the savings can be. Uh, the, the President agrees that door-to-door -door delivery is too expensive. In our legislation, we came up with a solution that would continue door-to-door -door service for the elderly uh, and disabled, and we could come up with a way to uh, pay for that if you wanted to do it. You pay a fee and you continue to get the mail at your end. But it is no question it is more cost effective to do what we are doing in new subdivisions now, cluster box or curbside mail, like the typical boxes where the postal worker does not need to get after uh, get out of his or her car to deliver those. It is safer uh, and faster. I am also uh, glad to see the President's continued support for five-day delivery of mail, a change that was supported by the American people. You know, I can't believe we are uh, still debating this. We came up with a great compromise where packages uh, would be delivered on uh, Saturday so we could get around the problem with people needing their medications delivered and still uh, save lots of money. Unfortunately, Postal Service was moving that way and they bowed to political pressure and backed off of it. And, and that is just not good. My fear as a government watchdog, a taxpayer, and is a, as a postal customer is that without reform, the American people are going to be left footing the bill for a taxpayer bailout of the Postal Service. That is the last thing we need right now. Okay, maybe it is a policy debate we need to have, but I think you would find consensus on both sides of the aisle within these tight budgetary times. We just don't need to be bailing out the Postal Service. As the Chairman of the Subcommittee on Federal Workforce, U.S. Postal Service and the Census, I am committed to continuing to work with the Postal Service and members of this committee to bring uh, the necessary reforms to bring the Postal Service into the 21st century. I truly believe there are smart ways that the Postal Service can lower its cost and improve its service. I hope we can bring them to light today and find a way that we can work with the President, members of the other party, the Postal Service, their customers, the, and all of their stakeholders, which basically includes all, all the American people, to find a solution that works, that gives us a 24 the 21st century postal service that can carry its own uh, financial weight, can be a boon uh, to our economy, get those atoms delivered on time, get us the quality of uh, service that we uh, need and deserve uh, nationwide at an affordable cost. And I yield back.